Houdini 20 brings us some new modeling nodes. So let's take a look at one that I think is gonna be pretty useful for some different things in procedural modeling to create this type of a shape. So let's go ahead and drop down a SOP create and we'll just drop down a box. So in order to get that, that type of a shape before in Houdini, we need to create a box, then we need to do a poly extrude. We would have to select, you know, our face and then extrude that out. And we'd have to do another poly extrude and select our face again. And then finally we would have to drop down a bevel and we would need to select our edge there and crank up the distance and then we can crank up the divisions. And that works, but uh, we get this kind of an end gun right here and it's obviously quite a few steps to create this rather simple type of a shape. So Houdini 20 has us covered with this new poly hinge node. So if I wire that in, we need to do a couple things. First of all, we need to select the face that we want. So I'll select our top face there. Then we need to select our edge that we want to have. So we'll select that edge there. And then right away, you see that we have this sort of a shape going on. We can drag this all the way up to 90. And we basically have the same sort of a shape that we had before. And this has gotten rid of the end guns. It's triangulated nicely. We can affect the max division angle that will increase or lower our subdivisions. We can also explicitly state how many that we want. We can also scale these by attributes if you want, all sorts of procedural modeling type stuff in there. Um, we can select this inset and this will kind of offset that, that point where they all meet, all these polygons or all these triangles meet at. You can you know, drag that around and get that set exactly how you want. And then again, we have our different groups to output that allows us to do a bunch of nice things for procedural modeling. So there's also some other modes in here that are a little bit less useful in my opinion. So we have this position and direction kind of gives you a, a weird type of a shape here and you can mess around with that. Uh, not really sure that that's going to be super useful in a lot of situations. Um, from attributes, you can mess around with that. I'm not even going to try with that, but uh, this edge centric is kind of what I think I would use the most. And it gives us a, a nice, uh, easy way to create this type of a, a shape. And obviously if you wanted to create the exact same thing that we had with the other nodes, we just need to drop down a poly extrude here and then select our face and increase the distance there. And now we have the same thing in both. Just one has better topology and is a lot easier to create, a lot less steps than the other. So super useful node that is going to be pretty useful for a lot of different procedural modeling stuff. So feel free to play around with that and see what you can come up with. But anyways, if you wanna learn more about Houdini, especially Houdini 20, I've been covering a lot of different things in Houdini 20, a lot of the new stuff. So if you wanna learn more about a bunch of the new things in that, then go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. I also just cover a bunch of different things in Houdini in general. So make sure to check out those videos if you're interested in that. Uh, I also run a Patreon, which is free to follow, by the way, now, if you would like to do that, you can follow Patreon. I'm gonna be using that more. It's kind of a new thing on Patreon. So I'll be using that more and putting up some free stuff with that. So make sure to uh, head on over there and check that out if you're interested. I also have a bunch of stuff on there that's paid that uh, just, goes over a ton of different things. Basically all the projects that I've done in the last like year and a half or so. So anyways, like I said, thank you guys for watching and check out the other videos if you want to learn more about Houdini. Anyways, have a good day.